Previously in fairy tale. You then see that Urza Dex Kyria then one shots her with her Fire Empress armor on using an attack called Fire Empress's Soaring Fire Blade. And next time y'all see us, there ain't gonna be no Jujitsu Kaisen jumpings. We gonna slide with the whole give. MM starts tweaking out, choking his girl. Bro turned into Chris Brown. We then start seeing border tornadoes all over the city as it's getting destroyed because MM's true dragon form was unleashed. Just then, the white mage takes over over and senses that MM is close to Wendy and decides to make him rampage. Natsu was like, hold up. First you take that man's magic, then your plan backfires, then you tell us to do your dirty work and clean up your mess? What's wrong with you, you selfish man? And Urza is like, yo, chill. Natsu says, fine, let's step. We then see that none of the attacks work and then MM starts sucking all the water into the sky for some attack and then we cut to black. We then go back to fairy tale and we see that Toka is having a damn tea party over top of everybody's unconscious body. Will MM regain himself? Will Team Natsu be able to stop MM before it's all too late? Will Caramel stop crying and actually be useful this episode? No. Please, for the love of God, can Brandish come back and give this little baby Milkies? Like, oh my God, bruh, goo goo, ga, ga, wa, wa, I want Milkies. Please give me Milkies. Yeah, nigga, he This is the episode we've been waiting for, so without further ado, let's just get straight to it. This episode starts for some reason with Lucy telling Natsu that she's having trouble writing her book, and the topic of the book is fighting giant ant eaters. And Natsu has a giant ant eater quest, cause why not? Y'all can think this is just stupid, but if you a Nalu shipper, then you probably think Natsu already knows what she's writing about, but still wants to pique her interest in conversation, and then followed it up with something he had already plan to help her because he's a w boyfriend or w friend that's a boy it's up to you but natsu takes lucy on the quest and lucy gets taken and gets licked by these freaky ass ant eaters so on to the real episode all hope seems lost mm is blasting left and right with water that is crashing and actually making real explosions not them dollar 99 ass explosions from last episode natsu tries to stop him but gets blasted down he starts swimming through the water to try to get a hit in with a roar but his gets beaten out by mm another blast comes down but gray freezes this one and makes a path that doesn't really work out we then see not up in the sky ocean swimming down and tries to land a finishing blow on mm but that don't work either I'm glad it didn't because that shit looked ass wasn't no build up no nothing not then gets sucked up and tries holding on but can't and just as all hope seems gone a second dragon grabs hold of Natsu, saying not belongs to him and he tells not that he shouldn't be losing to someone like mm a dragon who doesn't even have half of his power just imagine that bro team fairy tale is losing to a dragon that isn't even at full power not even half bro the gill might be washed these dragons too op so dragon number two sets the town on fire and says to not to take my flames if you want to win he then transforms into a human and reveals himself to be igneal's actual son and says he wants to fight not to one day but as he is right now he's too weak you heard that not to be acting low but he called that boy's bluff and said you probably had the help of like seven other dragon slayers to which Natsu was like maybe I did and Ignea that's his name by the way is like fuck that you need to be strong by yourself maybe I should kill all your friends and then we'll see some real power out of you Natsu launches at him and Ignea is like okay so you get stronger with feelings gay but hey to each his own use that anger to beat MM or your friends will die and he leaves saying one day they will fight and their fight will bring about the death of one of them and its results and he looks forward to that day a lot going on with ignia man and the tats on him are fire design fire come on man you know when it comes to mashima and these designs nigga just pushes them out and they are always goaded like this nigga really evil not to i know we had e and d but this the real e and d if you ask me this nigga is the end all be all he is the final battle for not to buddy because if not to fought him as is not to get cooked fried and instantly die so everyone was like yo not to you know who that is and he's like nah man fuck that guy they're like, oh. 
okay well eat his flames and lock in natsu's like i don't want to but he knows that if he doesn't it's wraps so natsu starts eating them and instantly powers up jumping straight through a building so natsu flies into the sky damn gets suga tensho aura all over him hits mm with an explosive right hook that actually explodes on impact knocking him back he tries to hit natsu with his tail but natsu weaves it and starts running on rubble and jumping around like deku or goku he then rushes towards mm but gets slapped away but natsu hits his damn goku and uses his fire to propel himself he then grabs this nigga and then throws him down bro is a whole monster right now even lucy is scared of her pookie so mm charges a breath attack and natsu responds with this damn death demon ball attack that he starts charging up bro really got the demon fire kamehameha and this shit vaporizes mm's attack and hits that boy making him look like a nice grilled dinner for me tonight natsu then runs in saying he's not done yet and then he needs everyone else's help like bro no you don't look at what you are doing to this nigga but alas urza and gray help out by knocking him off balance and natsu hits him with the finishing uppercut but natsu says he's not done yet because the body is still there this nigga natsu is on crash out timing but lucy stops him and she's getting burned in the process by anything to save her pookie man and she tells him it's all over and alas it really is w episode man peak animation peak storyline peak first dragon to feed in second dragon appearance i guess all peak man fairy tale back on top and we just six episodes in man but before you guys leave looking for some new clothes figures ah. accessories or more well then head down to anime express dot store bars with items ranging from jewelry to lamps swords to phone cases plushies and even pokeballs along with japanese street fashion as well and some of the highest quality anime merch you could ever want to ranging from anime like jjk naruto one piece and dragon ball all the way to Q, blue lock tokyo ghoul and bro they even got the death note they have so much stuff i can't even talk about all of it right here so don't be a bore head over to anime express dot store Use code AKI10 or the top link in the description to save 10% off your every order. So you save some money and I get some. We both win it. Again, that's code AKI10 or the top link in the description to save 10% off your every order. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, please make sure to like, comment, telling me what you might want next. Share this video with your fellow fairy tale fans, man. I'm trying to hit 100K before the end of the year. I know it looks kind of impossible right now, but we could do it. Fairy tale community. Stand and up. Make sure you subscribe and until next time, peace. And please make sure to have yourselves a damn good So cool, baby, scandalous. I am showing you what I'm talking about. So cool, baby, watching now. It's a you. Can you handle us? So cool, baby, scandalous. I am showing you.